What go on my people? So this week on stage, Winfrey Williams speak to um Cargo about um rebranding himself and um being back in Jamaica for, to perform. You know what I mean? And big up to Cargo. You see me? And we're gonna listen to this interview, my people, because we cannot watch it because as I said, Williams Win Winfred Williams filed claim against me. Having YouTube monitoring my page and trying to suppress my video. So we're gonna listen to this interview and we come back. Alright, sir. So you were telling me about the performance in this city last night. Take it up from yeah, there. On stage, you don't know. Last night Jerkfest was a big show last night. Mm -hmm. And it was like my return back. The people start seeing me back when I show them, you understand? Yes. And like Montego be a catching all. At the place where me bus eight years ago. Okay. Reggae Sun Fest. Yeah, act like you never did it. Oh yes, I was there. <laughs> I was there when you and when well, you're giving me this reminder. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. you, you and you perform under your new name because there's a, yeah. a name change. Was uh, it under it, that name? Name not changed. You know, we just know so you you are going. We just take on a bag of title to ourselves because if people now give you title, you have to put the title them under your belt. Oh, so it's a new moniker. Yes, yeah, a new moniker. You and it's what is it? Makaska. A.K.A. The Macasta. Rockstar Boy. Macasta, A.K.A. Mac, yeah. The Rockstar Boy. Rock, rockstar Boy. <laughs> All right, sir. Yeah, we're just, so, just happy. We're yes. We're just happy, yeah? So, in, in summary, since we spoke last time in February, that comeback yeah. is not wasted. You're still back. No, Mr. Winford, you are going right now. You see, before we're back at Jamaica right now, we just are come from Canada. And the on stage performance can help me as the only artist right now. I keep mm -hmm. my show them by just putting up a posters for Instagram and Facebook and Canada sold out. We wow. make some bombs right now and we have one in Canada, one in Florida and one in New York and the two of them parties sold out already coming yes. up in September. And, just and, because of the on stage performance. And this was actually the very first one in Jamaica since. The very first one in Jamaica. We get enough opportunity, but may I say, a man to go be on my bus, you understand? So if me, I catch up back for a whisper, me left off, me now say start over. Because mm -hmm. you know, Cargo is a unique artist with spot. You know, yes. matter what I go on, you can't touch my spot. So, mm -hmm. some money that say come try bus back. No, my thing is, me did left a footprint, yes, sir? Like Jesus. Yes. So we just. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we just I can put the next foot forward. And last night was the biggest task in my whole career. You understand? Last oh, really? night. Yeah, because me and my wife and my pitney them. I me have crazy people flying from England and all over. The Cargonians, them, isn't it? Mm -hmm. At first, me in my career have people are flying. At that time, people just show up, and if you go on good, you get a forward. But this time, people flying to see you. So the energy was so big for me go good. Mm -hmm. And me assure them say, me I know the artist thing, we touch the stage, but performance. After performance done, people are gonna look back and say, yo, cargo are the man. Recordings, how, how are they doing? On the recording them now right that now. That you've done since. See? Right now me just put out my gospel album. And you don't know it they're gonna hit Billboard and hypocrite people mm -hmm. flag it. But what we do right now is create our own website. So it's like, my thing now I sell on Amazon until certain things while out. But me I sell on my own website and yes. I make more money than anything else in ah. my career right now. Because there is a genuine expansion of your fan base yes, since fan base. the comeback, isn't it? Yes, yes. Worldwide. Worldwide. And the calls are coming from some of the place, other places that calls are coming from? It has come from all over the world. And on stage is a cast of one night, you understand? Yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 I may not keep credit, you know what I mean? You yeah. understand? If I forget your credit, I give you your credit, you understand? Yeah, man. And is there a shuffling of management? A reshuffling of it? You know, so no, change, no, some no, changes? No, 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 I'm a wife, I manage me, I'm a clean, yes. and a rest, you know? Okay, so there's no change. So no everything changes. is stable everything, and any, moving any, forward. Anything else I did see is just people are trying to come in on your thing and want to push out whosoever them see there, you understand? And how social media go, if anybody them see around you, you give somebody a, a job for them, and they want to overstep them bungee. I mean, you know, like, how oh, we stay as Jamaican, like, you come and see a friend around me, mm -hmm. and you just come and you come with news to push out the friend. That's so how we stay, you understand? Because okay. you want to have it holy and solely. So, not no shuffle up. 
I want things changed and I'm the Honda to your range, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to feel your blessings when I wake up in the morning time. Hey, spirit, take me off my feet. Just lift me up and hug me like a baby. Just cuddle me up. Take me to places I've never been on stage. My love you all. Pour your little spirit, yeah, that spirit, yeah, Jamaica land will love you so, oh, 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 spirit stir me up. That song was from an album I hear, yeah, that's gospel, coming, a gospel album. album. Spirit, in, um, let me tell you, the album is out right now, number one vibe with Billboard, because like, I put it up the other day, for my label and thing, and in a, in a two hours or three hours, it jumped from number 60. One to number three, right in front of Bob Marley and, and VP. Mm -hmm. And you don't know Pagan Strike it, you understand? So that cost me to create my own website. So, oh, okay. Right, so now it create a different lane for me, you understand? So I start to see revenue coming in instant, even though it not get to hit billboard because of some little paperwork. But it's still a good look, you know? And it's a full-blown gospel album. It's a full-blown gospel album. Um, and that is like giving thanks and praise to the Lord yeah, for all your great, your, your blessings we right tell now? God, say, we have a thing where say, bus back, even though my wife not like you, me use a word. Yes. But me did tell God, say, and it how you bust me back, me have a sing for you. So me can't wait until next year me do it. Me have to do it after the success of work of mine, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, so. The gospel album is there. How many tracks? Ten tracks. Mm -hmm. We don't need a ten commandment. Oh, okay. Each one, each one. All right, so bless you. <laughs> All right, so, so we're okay. looking forward to that. So that, yeah, that's out right now. Yeah, you can get it on my website. On your website. www.carbonians.com. You understand? Yeah, man. All right. Digital and also our copies. And the hard, the hard copy, we have a thousand and the part is sold out already. Sounds like you're in full control, Bredrick. Everything in full control. Wicked. No, Wicked. And a good yeah. blueprint for young artists and those who are struggling them, for the attention them, and for the sales. How much the legendary artists them reach out and say, yo, trust me, you change my life. You make me feel like we can just go back into the studio now and don't the priest say, we want to come mash up jerk fest. You just know say, we fan base was there and we can go into the studio and sing at least 10 songs and just put it out. I'm making ah, some money. Thank you so much yes, for, for having us. Yeah, man. We're happy about what we're hearing. Actually, we're glad for you. We thank you for, for allowing us to talk to your wife and thank you for telling us your side of the story. And more I tell all our upcoming artists, them, and even the, the legendary artists, them. Cargo is not just an artist right now. We have the whole, we have my own label. I have my own distribution just like any of the top man them when you used to send in a song them go get. Mm -hmm. The only difference with my distribution now, you get your money and you not get no blank receipt to come to you from, third party. from a third party. <laughs> if you put your, if we publish your, uh, put out your song for you, from the day go up, every letter comes straight to you from iTunes and Amazon. Mm -hmm. If you make $10, me get my two dollar and you get your eight dollar. In a month, it now come to you and say, you know, make nothing. Over the years, I'll be a blank check we get. Mm -hmm. And me can able to put up a website in a four day and make close to 5,000 US by selling my music myself. So we just tell the artists, them say, sometimes you have to humiliate yourself if God can take you from the next level if you ground your thing for you. You understand what I mean? So, if you don't want to get to sing them out there, you don't know. Mr. CEO is here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, the CEO. Mother Road, God Road. All right. Mother Road, man. The long chain global label. Big up on yourself on stage. I'm glad your son Jason reach out to dad and say, yo, Mother Road, God Road. And Mr. Winford, I tell you where you stand right now. You need to go do. Go back 2018. Eight or yes. 10. 2010. And tell the world that Cargo is the first artist most by Reggae Sunfest. All right, sir, we shall, <laughs> we shall do that work. You're, you're challenging us, and we're going to go into the archive and, and find it. it. And take it three years after that, straight, 
who takes on just a car go that one there that everybody, right? You understand? Right, so big up man to go be here. When you shot my thing on the road, I'm glad to come start back the thing. Or take up back the next foot and put the next foot forward in a man. So people, as you all can hear, that's Winfred Williams interviewing Cargo about his combat. And people, I'm going to be honest. What Cargo is saying is almost the exact same thing that happened to me. Because Cargo, my people, said that he put out an album, which is a gospel album. And it was getting so many views where they flagged it. You know what I mean? And they flagged it and, and they took down his, um, his album of um, iTunes. And it was the same thing that Winfrey Williams did to me. Because Winfrey Williams did a video of me people interviewing Rygin King. And I um, upload the video and dissect the video because the, I'm an analyst. And a part of his video clip was in my, inter, um, my, my video. And he write to um, YouTube and have them file copyright claims against me. And trying to um, suppress my video. So Mr. Winfred Williams. Why are you such an hypocrite? Because this is the same thing that Cargo is talking about. That happened to him. So why can't you just give me the chance. To express myself on your program. You know what I mean? Because Cargo is a talented artist. I'm a talented person just the same. You know what I mean? And Cargo is talking about people that um, are, are, are hypocrites. Because they think that they should talk about supporting young talent. And yet still they took down his album because they red flag it on iTunes. And that's the exact same thing that you did to me, Mr. Winfred Williams. And until you answer this, people, people, until Winfred Williams answer um, this, I'm going to be letting people know that it's a big hypocrisy. And this is the same thing Cargo is talking about. Even though um, when he's talking about um, rebranding himself, it's a good look for him. You know what I mean? That's why I'm telling people, young artists, to keep push on. You see me? Don't let anyone think they have the door for you because Cargo take it to the internet. You know what I mean? Him and his wife took it to the internet and rebrand himself. And now he, he is getting a forward that um, no one gave him. He went there and he just rebrand himself and took it, him and his wife. You know what I mean? But people, this is the hypocrisy that I'm talking about. And Cargo just mentioned it is in, in his interview with Winfred Williams. And I personally wonder how Winfred Williams feel about this. Knowing that he did, um, not almost, but the exact same thing to a young person that was going viral. Because as Cargo said, his album was going to get more, uh, more um, spin than, than even Bob Marley. And they flagged it and they took it down. And that's the same thing with me. Even though Winfrey Williams is bigger than me, I was getting more views than him. You know what I mean, my people? And he wrote to YouTube, flag my video and file copyright claims against me. He said, me, I said, right now I'm in a position, people. I cannot upload any more song on my page. I cannot upload any more video because, as I said, YouTube is monitoring my page because of Winfred Williams. And it's unfortunate, but it's the truth. Mr. Winfred Williams, you need to stand by your words. That's all I'm saying to you. You know what I mean? But big up to Cargo. And Cargo, you did something that I didn't like. You're um, saying that you're the first person to lock down some face and bust in some face. And I know that's a personal aim at um, Rygin King. Because Rygin King claims some face to be um, is sure that he, he, he made a, a bust. And he was the first artist to do it. So I think that was a cheap shot. You shouldn't have bring up that ca um, cargo. And I don't endorse that. You see me? But big up to cargo. You see me? It's a good look for him. Peace. I'm out. Work in the country. You have to look pan. And him do great works too. Because even though him jail, him still have to be the champion DJ boy. Yeah. And some boy we said them didn't want him to go jail. <laughs> the biggest dancehall analyst in the world. Ninja Man. The biggest dancehall analyst. In the world, Ninja Man. I am saying that. Winfred Williams. Take me on, on that if you wish.